you know, after game one, we, you know, we kind of understood uh, you know, what kind of level defensively we need to play. Um, and uh, in every game, I think we improved in different areas, uh, and we kept improving, which you know that's that's a great sign. What was it about Game One that was sort of the turning point in the series? The coach was saying yesterday that that was sort of the point where you guys said, "Okay, we can't, we can't let that happen." Again. Well, yeah, defensively, defensively, I think you know we we allowed them um, a lot of movement, a lot of freedom, um, and and obviously they're a talented team, and and they have a. Great players and, and know how to play and, 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 and great make decisions and once you you know play and, and trade you know punches with the team, you might lose. Mark, do you feel like now that you've played more than a dozen games together with this starting five group, you've kind of figured out your identity and figured out all the chemistry? And and, and continue to grow and continue to learn. To, to me, it's a, a continuous learning process. Play, playing with the guys. Um, you know, I think that game one was was a was a perfect example at the end of the game, and that shot from uh, DJ at the top of the key. You know, if, if you play with those guys long enough, and you're in that situation long enough, you know what's ex expected, and and you know what the coverage would be, and, and and those things don't happen. So, to me, always, you know, even through tough times or things that are, you know, don't go well, it's, you can always can learn a lot of uh, things, and uh, even you know, good or bad, you you always learn. Well, if you're saying you'd still figure out more and how exciting is it for what is to come for this team? Correct. It's, you know, it's, it's very exciting and, and you know that you still have a lot of room to grow and, and, and you can see it and you can feel it. Um, but it comes through working and trusting each other and communicating and putting yourself out there for your teammates. Nick uh, said this was maybe the best he's ever seen Kyle play over a series. This is your first series playing with him. What did you learn about him? I love, I love his mindset. I love his competitive mindset in, in both ends of the floor. Um, you know, even game one, everyone, every, everyone, every yeah. outside of here, um, obviously, I think overreacted a little bit. But you know, he just the play that he is competed. Um, you know, we all took it personal and uh, and, uh, and took over the thing a little bit and, and show how well we we need to play uh, and not not only how we can play, how you know we show one another how aggressive we need to play in order to you know impose our will defensively. Mark, what was the key for you and Serge in keeping Vucevic contained in the series? Um, Defensively. I think our physicality. I think, uh, you know, staying um, on him. I think our, you know, it's, I think it's the first time that, you know, in, that I've been a team that we double team uh, a big, and, uh, and that was new for me uh, on the cuts. Uh, so I'm sure that that, you know, he didn't like that as much. Uh, uh, we took it off afterwards, but uh, you know it, it gets you off your rhythm. Um, he's a great player. You try to make as tough as possible every possession and make him earn um, every shot that he takes. Looks Good. like you're going to have Philadelphia in round two. What's yeah. the challenge of going up against a guy like Joel Embiid? I'm gonna start, you know, watching him obviously tonight and uh, and, and and closely and understanding what you know how they're trying to get the ball, where he's trying to get. I mean, all the things that you know, how you prepare for a playoff game and and uh, get ready for game one.